Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Welcome on this snowy January morning. I hope you, I'm, I think I'm going to put up a picture of my snow dogs for you to see what, um, what it is like here today. No school, we're kind of in the midst of a another mini blizzard and um, <laughs> we haven't seen snow like this in probably more than two years. So anyway, welcome. Today we are going to do the modified, um, I modified this design of this little pop-up gift card holder and uh, we're going to be making a pop-up card holder, tea holder, little pop-up valentine. So that was fun. Uh, let me get a tea here so I can show you this. Um, remember, I don't know if I'll be doing a Create With Me for Valentine's, but last year's Create With Me is still up if you want to make some Valentine's with that. And little housekeeping. I have um, thank you Liddy, Kathy, Flower, Tracy. Tracy, your reviews were so kind. Thank you. Indigo Deuce and Sherry. Or, yeah, Sherry. Um, thank you, Bev. And I had a question on the wax paper vignettes. Um, it's been so so long since I made these, but I thought I would bring them out and show you that they're still in good condition. The wax paper. I told you I would wait until I make sure the wax paper is completely adhered and isn't going to come off before I did anything with these and it still hasn't and I think that was well over six months ago <clears throat> but the question was and it kind of threw me off did I use the shiny side or the dull side of the wax paper um, truthfully I didn't realize there was a difference and I was just using um, scraps on my table so I don't remember paying any particular attention but as far as feel goes I don't really feel any difference so as far as adherence goes I don't think it would make a difference and again the most important thing was to avoid a lot of moisture and let your layers dry before you run them through your press Otherwise, um, you risk, the, from the pressure of the machine, you risk tearing your paper because you risk tearing a layer, generally the um, middle layer, which would be your design. And the other question was, can I spread with a credit card? I'm guessing the person, Bev, meant the glue. Um, yeah, you probably could, but to get an actual lamination, you need the pressure. You need the pressure from the machine. So again, um, I don't particularly re remember choosing a side for the wax paper. I hope you enjoy the photo of my dogs I'm going to put up. Boy, do I miss my dogs. Um, my cat wanted out last night, and I told him I did not want to let him out. But if you don't let him out, he'll keep meowing at you. And I told him, I'm going to fall asleep. And sure enough, I fell asleep sitting up in the wonkiest position. 
woke up with a neck pain and uh, thought, well, he, he's pretty vocal. I'll hear him if he comes to the door and he didn't come in until this morning, but my husband said he was completely warm and I'm quite sure they go over to my neighbor's porch and uh, even though I worry, <laughs> they're, they're not stupid. So that all turned out good. Okay, so the next thing I have a new kit, um, wildflowers. These beautiful um, watercolor illustrations that I purchased that I'm quite sure now are probably AI and they've been in a folder for months and um, I finally got around to doing something with them. This one got altered a little bit. I decided to make everything big and bold because I was losing some of those beautiful small flowers so um, I didn't print the whole kit but it's wildflowers journal pages and um, just beautiful beautiful even though it is AI so um, oh that reminds me what I like to do AI is not copyrightable so you do have to alter the designs. Um, so what I like to do is I like to combine the old and the new. So I usually combine it with some old book pages, something antique. So I have um, book pages from a North American Wildflowers book and I have some text of a poem about wildflowers. So there is two types of texts. Okay, so what you'll need today basically is just a 4 by 12 and we're going to make this little pop-up Valentine. This was made entirely from scraps. And then I have a way for you to um, turn it into a little book if you desire. So I made a little book. But as you can see, um, you'll have your little pop up there, which will be a pocket. It has a card. You can put that card, little Valentine. You can put the you can put tea, and I'm pretty sure you could probably get away with a Ghirardelli in there if you desire. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I don't know if I'll get around to the book, but I just wanted to show you that you have your little pocket here. And your flap, you could turn into a pocket and close it like that. Or you can close it like that. So that's today. So you'll need a 4 by 12 And then whatever um, embellishment you desire. I have a bunch of hearts already. I have some ribbon um, and you'll need some glue. You'll need a scoreboard. That actually just makes it easier. But if you don't have one, you can do it uh, with just a ruler. And uh, I don't even know if I'm going to punch a notch today. so. You don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to use a trimmer to cut off my edge. So that's about it. 
So let me get one of these. I'm going to use uh, this paper again. Um, double sided is better, but you can use um, single sided if you want. If you if you don't have double sided, so a four by twelve. And we're going to score at one and a quarter, which is the same as the other one. One and a quarter, five, six and five eighths. That's the one eighth above the half. Four eighths is a half. And then eight and a quarter. Okay. That's the end of that. And then we're just going to fold again accordion style. Except for the flap. Okay, if you get a little resistance up here from your flap, you can take a sliver off of there. But I don't seem to be so. Okay, so then you're going to end up with your W again, except this one goes like this because it's your flap. And then we are going to glue. This is where we. This is where we put the notch, like that, like that. So we're just going to glue that three sides. I don't think I'm going to put a notch in this one. down the side and this paper because of these little plastic embellishments I'm probably or little plastic design on top I'm probably going to have to clip this doesn't matter which side you go down this is just the part that um, keeps things from sliding through your pocket. Okay, let me just clip this a minute. And it's a little wonky. I don't know about my new guillotine. It seems like the measurement at the 4 inch mark is off, but when you get to the 12, it's right. So tell me how that makes sense. So, okay, so I don't know about my new guillotine. So, okay, I just um, have some hearts already prepared, and I'm pretty much going to follow my design here. I, that can use a lot more stuff. You can go to town as much as you want on this. Um, and then I have another little card or some tea. Um, I was going to do um, kind of country style 
because of those dots. And then I walked past this paper and I said, no, I'm doing that. And then I found some, I had three different ribbons on the other one. And then I found this red. So I was like, yeah, I'd really like to use that. So I think I'm going to use some of that. And then I have some little buttons. And then, let me see if this is dry. So the other important thing to remember is, here's my little pop-up. Oh, I hear a kitty. Just a minute. I think I'm going to yell upstairs and tell someone that I hear my kitty at the window. Sorry, it's just snowing to be. It's just snowing to beat the band, and I don't want. Um, if he wants in, I want him in. Okay, sorry. I hear them at the window right behind my head. Okay, so then we're going to take off our little sliver. And that's that's important. Because you don't want to glue your hearts on. After you, you don't want to glue your hearts on and then forget the, to take off and then realize you should have taken off the sliver because our hearts are going our hearts are going on the front of this pocket so there's our little pop-up okay so I believe I started with heart here which window I thought I heard someone meowing here what do you mean which window I'm only sitting in front of one window sorry this is Activity day. <laughs> She's home. You'll probably be hearing chitter chatter from her talking to her computer. She's probably supposed to be cyber schooling at the moment. And then last night, guess what I did? I decided to have a piece of gum. And it took out my filling. My dentist said last time you have a loose filling, but I can't get you in until February. I don't think it's going to start bothering you, but if it does, just give me a call. And I didn't I didn't feel it loose at all. And then last night I decided to have a piece of gum and bit down and out came my filling. Are you kidding me? And that was after I burned myself. And then the neck pain, which thankfully is gone. Which when I got the neck pain, I got a little worried that it was from my tooth. But I think it was just because I was fell asleep sitting up with my head sideways. Waiting for my cat.
So I kind of just, I kind of wanted a plaid or something, something a little whimsical. So I'm glad I, um, I walked past this paper. I was determined not to cut a new piece of paper. But then I walked past it and I'm like, oh no, I have to use that. I spent two days purging. I rearranged my craft room. I almost got my table back. Doesn't look like it at the moment, but I almost got my table back. And I was brutal, probably not brutal enough, but I think I'm going to move that over just a tad. And um, I have everything separated. I'm going to try the tray method. Don't really like it it's sitting right here next to me, full of scrapbook paper only. Digitals are all separated. But I have so little room right here beside me that every time I stand up, I feel like I'm going to catch a corner and it'll be on the floor. I still have my CD holders too, which I'm probably crazy. Look how full they are. I think I think the veterans after a couple years they say if it's less than an inch, less than an inch, don't even keep it. And then I bet two years later, it's if it's less than two inches, don't even keep it. And then two, two years after that, it's if it's less than three inches, don't even keep it. So I didn't have enough hearts. Where'd that little blue one go? might combine a little bit of blue in here just to give it a little punch and I'm I would love to put a string through there but let me see if I can find a tiny that's too small I did have some tiny cord in here red see any. That's another idea. If you have these paper buttons and you're all fumbly with string, you can use that thin ribbon to pretend, make it a pretend, a faux thread in there. Let me try it. Let me try it backwards. Usually I do this minute decorating after the video's finished, but let me just see if I can get a little sliver of ribbon in there. Will be super cute, and I did. Just 
trim that off. I don't know where my tweezers are, but they would come in handy about now. My hands are swelled up. I don't know why. That usually doesn't happen in the winter. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Uh, I think... going to put another I think I'm just going to go pink because I don't have another tiny white I don't know what's this um no not liking that Maybe I'll just leave that and look for a piece of uh, somewhere I had a piece of letter paper. I do have I wonder if I can get that off. Or, but okay yeah I think it will let me see if I have a heart the same size to um, strengthen that up a little bit I cut a bunch of hearts out of some recycled, the recycle bin. Do I have? Well, that's kind of cute, even though they're not the same size. Okay, let's do that for time's sake, or. Just put another little one. Uh, I think I like the bling. So let's just get that on there. I still have to make my hole and after I did that other one I thought oh I should have made that reinforcement a heart shape too. So I put the heart over it, over the circle. Those aren't the same die, but these aren't the same die, but I think it looks okay. Okay. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, it's an odd number or an even number, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Is that little plaid heart? Okay, that is cute. Let me get my other card. I think it matches better. There's my book. You could put another heart, Valentine heart, in the pocket. You could put your card in an envelope. 
you might want to put a notch just because it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky the first time you try to get something in that pocket. There we go. There's our pop-up. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Okay, so let me get a get a hole in here. Uh, this is four, and I'm gonna go to about the halfway mark. As far as the um. See that little dot? And I'm going to do uh, fancy corners. Where are we? Thirty three. It's a little wonky, but I don't care. The paper is not cut. The paper is not cut correctly on the one end. It kind of bothers me because then I have to measure my paper before I put it in the guillotine. Let me just see if I can get that centered. Okay, let me find a little heart. That'll fit. I'll try to get a find a center on here. I'm gonna use my four squares. This is a double, so hopefully this punch goes through. It should. Okay. Get that one there. I'm not going to turn this one into a book, but I'll glue my book in the other one and briefly tell you how I made it. Of course, you can make a book any way you want to put in there, but I did not want to. Um, I didn't think the seam was sturdy enough to be doing a... Um, see, look how much that's off. I didn't think it was sturdy enough to be doing a... Um, pamphlet stitch in there. So I came up with a different book. Okay, so this was about where my string go. I had this one on it at first. Um, I don't, that one's too long. Where'd my twine go? Oh, there it is. Oh, that was about, I don't know, 17 inches. Uh, 
that'll do. And I have a little piece of, where'd you go? A little piece of blue. I love light blue and red together. And a piece of my favorite yarn at the moment. Let's see if I can get three through that hole. Make this a little fancier. Where is my needle? My twist tie needle. Yeah, you know, I thought I, I, that's another tip. I saw someone using dental flossers to do this. So you want to go up through, up through the bottom. No, it's not like that. <laughs> I need all three. Let's do that again. this off. And then I used a paper clip to secure it while I got my bow. Please be long enough or you're not going to be a bow. I don't think you're going to be a bow. No, you're going to be a knot. But that's okay because then you're going to look shabby. So you want your you want your ribbon equal from this center point if that matters to you. If you're doing a bow, the velvet would be long enough, but I don't think. I don't think the others are, so I'm just going to make a very loose knot here. Well, maybe not. I'm not even going to do that because I'm going to open it again for you to see. So. That was another thing I saw adapted from a Christmas project that I thought was cute. And probably I'll end up taking all that other string out and just using the velvet <laughs> and making a bow. That's probably what I'll do since I changed the other one three times. Okay, so there you go. That's how you do that. And then there's your pop-up. Also fits a T. And I'm pretty sure we'll fit a Ghirardelli. So, let me go to this one. So I made this little book. I just made a channel with some... Um, cardstock. I glued the back and the front pages. This was seven and a half by three and three quarters, I think. No. Three and a half by three and three quarters. And it fits in there. <clears throat> so I made the channel. I glued the back and the front. And I only have one, two, three sheets in here. And then I just glued each piece down the seam. 
So you could put this in a belly band. You could make another little pocket. But I'm just going to glue it here to the side. Because I promised in the post how to turn it into a little book if you desire. So there's your little book. And as I said, if you wanted this to be a pocket, glue that down first. Whoops, now you're coming undone. Or keep it, um, keep it loose as your cover. Okay, I'm not going to bother restringing that. So let me get paper here. Let my card go. Put my card back in there. Hopefully I'll be cutting out that interruption. So there's our pop-up. So cute. That is so cute. And I'm quite sure if you were ambitious, you could probably even modify this even further to fit a hot chocolate or something. But I don't think I'm going to spend week three on that. So there's our design. And where'd the other two go? And there is last week's, which was just a simple gift card. Okay, everyone. I don't know what will be next week. Maybe you'll create with me for Valentine's. We'll see. But thank you for your time, and have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.